celestial theme going. I'll give Mike another chance. So, oh, Mike, God. Mike doesn't like it when you acknowledge him. I think I'm, we're, getting, we're getting through this rom-com together, see? Oh, wow. Continuing on the celestial theme. So, you know like the beatific vision in Do You know like the beatific vision? Everybody can hear me? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's <laughs> I kind of want to do a call and response or something. <laughs> I'll, I'll work one in later. Uh, so, and I hear like a little echo, of course, which is kind of nice. Um, so you know the beatific vision in Dante, like, we get up to heaven and like we can't see God because he's too cosmically different. He's like a triangle with some rainbow circles. Um, well, I thought like it's interesting that we have this idea of the cosmic that we can't quite perceive and maybe it doesn't perceive us back in the same way that we see it, especially if God's all seeing and stuff. But God way up there and I wanted to think more about angels, like what do angels see? And I wanted to think, like, well, what does a guardian angel see when they're watching over their person? So uh, this is a poem about the guardian angel watching over their person and what that is like. And it's called The Big Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Poetry is autobiographical. <laughs> the Big Loser. The guardian angel sits in the tree above the black lip of street the man walks down. He calls the man Cargo. The angel sees a pine wood box in the place of the man, and the street he walks is a boat, the hull like a coal crater. Somewhere in the real world, there is such a boat and box. The angels call these overlays dreams and believe they crop up because angels can't sleep but want to. Space falls apart when you have unlimited time. The cargo is rattling in the boat. Maybe it's just the waves, or maybe it's rats. <coughs> What's the difference? Either way, it's the box. The angel sends the man a happy vision from his past, the time he fed birthday cake to his goldfish after an unsuccessful party. <coughs> <coughs> the angel thinks he's applying <laughs> lemon oil to the creaky, wounded wood of the box. He knows it's palliative, but it's beautiful. The man reaches the end of the street. He's a sick man, and now, like many other times, he starts to ponder death. All of death is right here. The gods, the dark, a moon. Where was I expecting death to take me if everywhere it is on Earth? At life's close, you're like the child whose parents step out for a drive. Everyone else out on a trip, but the child remains in the familiar bed, feeling old lumps, like new, in the mattress. The light's off, not sleeping, for who can sleep with the promise of a world beyond the door? That night, the angel dreams he's inside the box. It's burning hot, the heat coming from bugs and worms, raping and devouring one another, he starts the hard work of the imagination, learning to minister to this new dream. Perhaps all that's needed is a little rain for everyone to drink and have a bath. Outside, a car humming. Somewhere, his mother's singing. <laughs>